All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft 6s server. I hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. Guys, last time we, we did a mega dig and a mega circle. <laughs> In fact, over the past two episodes, it's been pretty grindy. It's been, for me, long days of digging and thinking and measuring and clearing water. Uh, and yeah, it's, 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 been a, it's been a journey. And I've done all of this in the middle of a chaos house that has been having its windows replaced. And now I'm happy to say that finally it is completely done. The other day, only the other day, I, I went away for a few days and only the other day they finished the last coated uh, paint or paint coat and I got windows again, which is great because it's getting very cold outside. <laughs> I was getting so freezy, frozen. <sighs> My studio is still a mess. I still haven't had the uh, opportunity or I still haven't taken the time, I should say. I've just been lazy to move my desk back and, and all, all of those things. But good things is that now I can, so I'm very very happy uh, about that. And thank you guys so much for the for the support during this time. It's absolutely it's been absolutely horrible having construction workers running back and forth and <laughs> replacing stuff and doing their manly machines and stuff. Um, but anyway, we've got a lot of stuff done, and today I'm going to dig this out further, and I'm going to do that on a live stream once again. So. If you're watching this video and you didn't know I live streamed, you probably missed the live stream. You should follow me on Twitch. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm I'm going to go live and and dig this out and and speak with you guys who, who come over there. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to say as well that a lot of you, like almost every comment, is saying that I need to put beacons through the pilots, and I think I forgot to say it or I cut it out of the video. But that is of course the plan. Those suggestions I love. They are great. I think it's going to look fantastic. Hopefully the the beam itself doesn't emit light to to melt the uh, to melt the ice. But yeah, I I definitely want to do that. And I want to say as well there has been so many different like interactions in the comment fields and I've read most comments I think. There's been a lot of them, but you guys are very helpful and you have a lot of ideas about this base which is super cool to read. It gives me a lot of inspiration. Uh, and hopefully we do get to do some actual building today, not just not just digging, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm going to dig this out. And if you do want to catch so these sort of things live, then do follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash escal85 for future reference. There's also a VOD there if you want to see what we actually did. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's going to be it's going to be a good day. Hopefully get this dug down quite a bit. And with that, a three-hour streaming session, plus an hour of Iskal uh, <laughs> off-camera session, has been completed. And I got some good news and some bad news. I got two good newses. Two good newses and one bad news. Uh, so first things first, the good news is I dug it all the way down. Well, actually, I dug it to 34. And that point there was the lowest point. The 33 and I mean it's looking really cool I also uh, changed out all the walls for packed ice which just makes this thing look insane <laughs> um, but I think I may have to go deeper we're gonna find out in a little bit we're gonna find out in a little bit <laughs> the second good news is that we in the stream we actually tried out whether or not we could put a beacon beam through ice without melting it and lo and behold it is possible it's totally possible this thing has been sitting here for a, a few hours and the ice is not melting as long as it's at the beacon beam which means that we can indeed uh, pierce a beacon through every single pylon eventually. I mean, I'm not there <laughs> yet. I'm not uh, rich enough for that yet, but that's got to be the plan. A lot of you dudes have suggested it. And we could also have color switches inside the pylons um, to make them have either different colors or that they switch colors uh, by themselves. We can make a little redstone contraption. I think that could be a really fun project. And I think that will also further light up the pylon with a kind of a set of light. So that's going to be awesome. A lot of you guys have suggested it. I think I said that earlier. Um, but yeah, the bad news. Well, 
during my stream, we got tagged. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? What the? No! He actually tagged me! Oh my goodness, I suck! I suck so much! Oh, they, it comes with pants now as well? God dang it, dude! It comes with trousers? <laughs> so yeah, apparently, <clears throat> when you're tagged, the rules now state that you have to wear the villager head, and you also have to wear the trousers, the tag trousers, which I went ahead and enhanced and put mending and I'm breaking on, just because they were breaking so quickly. We also have to carry the tag your it thing in our inventory, and the first thing we have to do when we're tagged is apparently that we have to, have to head to the tag HQ. So, I guess before we start testing the depth of this thing, and before I reveal what all of these things in my inventory are going to do, we have to head over uh, to the Hermit Town and check out what our next move is. Now, I'm not allowed to tag anyone in this video, nor am I allowed to tag anyone until the Jevenator has released his video, which may very well has already have already been by the time of uh, you watching this recording. But um, I'm starting to plot and starting to think whom to tag. And I think Rendog is a pretty good target. I don't think he's been targeted yet. And, I mean, he's a funny guy, so... <laughs> We'll see. Leave me leave me your suggestions down below and please don't suggest Mambo or Gruyan because both of those have been tagged at least twice and I think uh, and also Exuma. I think we need to rotate the game a little bit, try and get some new people in. But yeah, let me know down below what you would like. I think Rendog is a is a good Holy crap. Wow. Look at this thing. This is Scar. 100% that's a Scar tree. I can't find an entrance to this thing, though. <laughs> Maybe it's not finished yet. Maybe I'm spoiling something. But yeah, that's 100% the scar tree. That is looking fantastic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so the tag building is supposedly over here. Yes, there it is. Looking absolutely gorgeous. I've actually seen this thing before. It's Exuma that has built it. And wow, that, that is... Yeah, that is looking mega. That is a very, very nice build. Indeed. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, look at this. This is when... <laughs> this is brilliant. This is when Mumbo was AFK and got Grian through a dispenser. Tagging, tagging him through like a dispenser mechanism. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, are they all in here? Cub fan dive bombing and Zuma Void. Uh, <laughs> Scar sneaking up on Cub Fan and Tango doing redstone and stuff. Where is my tag thing? Is my tag thing in here? Hold on. Read. Okay. This building is amazing. Dear Hermit, welcome to the Tag HQ. This monument was constructed to guide players through the rules of the game conceived by Grian. If you are tagged, head upstairs. To learn the history of Tag, head down. Ooh, I am tagged, so I do need to head upstairs, but I want to see if my moment is here when Grian dive-bombed me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are different, like, links? I, I'm not seeing myself here, though. Okay, anyway. <laughs> let's, let's head upstairs. Maybe I'm supposed to add myself, I'm not sure. Let's head upstairs. We are tagged. Uh... Okay, this is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. You must undertake this ritual before you play the game of tag. Uh-oh. Jump through tow jump through towers high to take a leap of faith. But first one must be punished and take the walk of shame. Uh-oh. There's some kind of riddle going on here. Uh there be a pressure plate there. I'm sorry, I don't know if... Is this gonna kill me? I'm scared! I'm, can I... Can I parkour my way through this? I don't wanna step on these pressure plates! <laughs> yeah, like... There is definitely something going on here. I mean... Okay, let's just try it. 
Yep. Okay, I see. I see what it is. I see. I see. This is... <laughs> this is... This is rude, man. I got a parkour. Okay, and... Dispensers there. Doesn't look great. <laughs> nice. Made it. What's in these? Arrows? Okay. Do I just... So this is the walk of shame. Oh! No! I got shame! <laughs> Crap. Okay, does that do anything bad? <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so scared. I hate things like this. They scare me. Genuinely. No, 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 no. Okay, nothing happened. Whew. Are we, are we okay? Oh, I have to solve. Do I have to solve a puzzle here? Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Stupid parkour. Okay, did it. Yes. Um, this is not going to retract. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a thing in the ceiling. How on earth am I going to make this jump? <laughs> oh, did it. Okay. Okay. So I got to unpower this. No. Um, I am confused. I'm starting to regret the idea of tagging Rendog solely because he's never going to make this. This is... <laughs> This is so tough! Okay, I made it back here. 10 minutes to get back to this station. And... <sighs> like... <laughs> oh! 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 But hey! I can... S oh! Nice! Okay! Oh. Derp! No! <laughs> but I found a way to do this. So, you, you can actually stand on the side of the pressure plate. I had no idea about that. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, yes. Whew. New stage. Um. Oh, no. Okay. I think I see what I gotta do. Piston. Wall. Ice block. Okay. Okay. Uh. Are you freaking kidding me, Exuma? Did you build this? Do I go... Do I go back up here now, or do I... Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump. I think I'm supposed to go... Dodge that, dodge that, and land on that. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, yeah. Yes, did it. Okay, okay. And now... To there. Whew. Okay. And now... <laughs> and then... Oh, this is actually interesting. I could possibly... No, I can't get it up there. So I need to go here with a thing over my head. Ugh! I hate parkour. I hate parkour. Okay. Yep. Yes, made that again. And that one. And was this where we fell off? Okay. Whew. I'm still, I'm still around. I'm still around. So I gotta get to that block being blocked when I jump. Okay. That, that's... <clears throat> That's doable. And now there, maybe? I really don't want to jump to the wrong thing here. Uh, this is where I came around and up. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to guess that's the jump I got to make. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> you can fall through that, I think. And. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> and now up there, nothing about our head. Oof. This is so freaking scary, dudes. Okay, we are... We are actually quite far up here now. <clears throat> Made it. Okay. Made it. Come on. Yes. Okay. And this one has a roof on it, so this is harder. Ooh, got it. And now just fall down on this. Nice. <laughs> I see the ladder. I see the light. Yes. 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 I made it. I freaking made it. What? Ah. Uh, am I gonna die here as well? This is incredible. This dude is looking very scary as well. But okay, so <laughs> I gotta jump down here. 
<laughs> Congratulations, now take that leap of faith. I mean, usually when you do these things, it's usually something that goes well because you you have faith in things. Trust you, Zuma. I trust you. Yes, we're alive. Enter the rules chamber. This is a really cool build, though, I gotta say. Okay, I gotta read the rules before I exit. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, dear Hermit, you are it, and no one wants to be it. To rid yourself of the shame and burden, you must tag another Hermit. Please read and understand all of the all of the rules before continuing. Rules. Before tagging another player, you must wait until their and possibly your perspectives have been posted. You cannot tag another player in the same episode that you were tagged. You must keep the tag and Don's head in your inventory at all times until you tag a player. To tag a player, simply approach and slap them with a the tag. They are now it. Hand over your tag related items. You cannot tag an AFK player. You cannot tag the person who last tagged you. If you lose the tag, if you lose the tag, you must replace it and throw a diamond block into lava. <laughs> wow. Each round has a twist. Head into the next room and press the button to receive a randomized twist you must follow for your duration of being tagged. You may also add your own twist into the randomizer with the tools provided. That's that's ill. That's that's is all. That's is all? That's is all. Okay, <laughs> best of luck. All right, okay, so a twist. It didn't say anything about the stupid tag trousers. I shouldn't need them then. Please read all the rules first. I did. I think we're good. Go go through. Okay, add a twist, only one. Um, I want to get my own twist first so I can see what they, what they are. Yeah, get my twist. Wear a, p <laughs> wear a pumpkin head when tagging. Uh, oh no, that's a terrible twist. Okay, so the twist is you naming. Okay, I see. Here's my twist. When tagging, shout Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, we're gonna add that. Deposit twist. Boop. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I have to wear a stupid pumpkin head when tagging. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, here's the trousers. Current twist. If the tag trousers break, you must sell... Seven IOU notes for seven diamonds each in the shop area. Wear tag trousers at all times when tagged. The dunce head. You can remove the dunce head from the game by adding Curse of Binding and equipping it to another hermit. Hmm. Okay. I don't fully get that. I have to... You see, I have to wear a pumpkin head. It clearly said. <laughs> Alright, we're backed out here. Anyway, this is gonna be a blast. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're not allowed to tag anyone in this episode, but wow, this is really good. This looks great. But yeah, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna have to wear a pumpkin head. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's like one of the worst things to wear as well. You can't see anything. I'll be honest with you guys for a second. I didn't think I would make the parkour ever. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Uh, but guys, we got a big. A bit of a big problem here. I just checked uh, Tango's shop and he is completely out of rockets. Now, I'm sure I can scramble some gunpowder around the place, but like in general, I don't even think I have paper. <laughs> this, this is really bad. I'm completely out of rockets. And it really sucks whilst building this as well. I'm gonna have to rely on the old ladder ladders and stuff. But anyway, I did get some stuff before we went over to the tag thing. And what I want to do with this place, and this is also the reason why I may have to go even deeper here, is I want to create a massive fog effect in this hole before we build the central structure. The central structure, which is essentially going to be a massive crystal. Um, <laughs> and our base, where we actually live and stuff. And so we got a few things that we got to figure out here. First of all, what kind of glass do we use for the fog effect? Do we use the Scallium Trusted uh, Green? Do we use blue? Or maybe even black? Uh, or any other color, like white is also, I suppose, one that could work. I think I have a bunch of white glass, though, so I'm not gonna die. Well, hmm. 
But what I want to find out not is not just the color, is also the height of this. So say that the fog effect would start here. Say that this would be our, our light level uh, where we put down glowstone or whatever. Um, <clears throat> we would have to go... I want to make this even more epic than I did last season. Last season I did four layers. I think I want to go like seven <laughs> or eight, depending on how it looks. I did... I, did, I found out last season that 4 is just not quite enough. Uh, and the way you do a fog effect in Minecraft, by the way, is that you create an air block or a shift another type of uh, glass if you want to tint the glass uh, in between layers like this. And this will create a fog effect you'll see in a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, yeah, we're we going more than that for sure. This is going to take a lot of resources as well. So this is not something that will be done immediately. But I figured we'd get it started. So that should be six and seven. All right, let's see how it looks with the light source underneath. Yeah, that is actually... That's enough. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. That's, that's going to be enough. That's incredible. So seven layers is definitely enough. Because what I want to achieve here is not seeing the ground. And just being able to have light sources down there so that we can see, uh, so that light comes out of the fog. Oh, that's brilliant. Because, of course, the less we need to make, the less deep we need to make this hole. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Thank goodness I managed to scramble a little bit of paper and, yeah, I got some rockets again. Whew. All right, dudes, let's see. I've put up the different colors I want to try out here. And we'll see how it looks. And I'm very excited because I actually didn't look in between. I want to see it for the first time. And... Okay, so we got the blue. Oh, the black is looking pretty epic. I gotta say, the black is looking pretty sick. Remember, you won't see the edges. You will only see what's in the very center there. I also really love the white. <laughs> wow, the white... Oh my goodness, the white is better than I thought it would be. Lime green is obviously awesome. Does it work with the eyes though? I am sure. And then the light blue, which actually looks very much like ice, doesn't it? Hmm. This is very interesting. I personally, <laughs> I like all of them. I think maybe I like the dark blue the least as it stands right now. Because it looks a little bit too much like water. The, the black is definitely the void. The white is like the divine or frozen. Eep. Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> um, I kind of want to try to mix two as well. There are obviously more colors, but I feel like uh, we got to be... Oh, did I... Oh, I put all my... I put all my dice. I put all my dice back in my base. Uh, I feel like... I feel like uh, we have to have... You guys know me with the pylons, like, I'm horrible at taking decisions, so <laughs> I, shouldn't give our, <clears throat> I shouldn't give us too many options here. So to make a layered one, uh, and I've actually never done this before, but to make a layered one, you don't need the air blocks. You just layer them like this, and from what I've understood, this should create a gradient between the two colors. And like I said... <laughs> I've never done this before, so I hope that's true. Because already, this is quite a bit of glass to chop down <laughs> the colors that we won't use. <laughs> but I think, again, like, this this is a mega project, obviously. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's turning out pretty epic already. Okay, this is the mixed one. Versus the fully white one. Oh, wow. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> what? That's really terrible in, in comparison, I feel. You don't, of course, have to layer all the different layers. Like, you can leave some air spaces, but... Yeah, that, that doesn't look great. The cyan one? Ooh, that is looking pretty interesting as well. Yeah, I do like the cyan one. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to take a decision on this today. I'm going to need your guys' help. My favorite... I, I mean, obviously, Scallium is always my favorite. I don't think it fits this this theme that we got going, though. So my favorite is probably the white or the black. 
Now, the center structure, and this is important, because do let me know down below in the comments which your favorite is. Here, I'll, I'll show them to you again. The center structure is going to have the same sort of style in terms of the base color as the pylons. We're going to do like an icy, an icy crystal. I'm probably going to use a bunch of light blue glass in it as well, which puts me off the light blue a little bit. Even though it's looking very cool with the ice, because I know the center structure is going to have that color, it, it needs to break the color a little bit. And with that background, I honestly think that one of these two is the best. And I can't, for the life of me, choose one of one or the other by just looking at them like that. I do want to take this opportunity to show you the nighttime uh, look at these as well, because then you get the, the true, like, uh, light flowing through. And I gotta say, like, with seven layers, there ain't a whole lot of light that makes it all the way up, if any. So maybe seven layers is one too many. So six layers, yeah, six layers you can actually see the floor. Just a little bit. Hi, guys. Uh, this, this is Sparta. Sparta. Stupid idiots. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I'm so weak in these, in these trousers, man. I'm so weak. <laughs> Alright, dudes, I've just got, I've just made, I've just been, hi. <laughs> I can't even speak. I've just been made aware that the slime shop is completely sold out. And so I'm going to quickly restock it because obviously uh, if the demand is up there, we want to make sure that we want to make sure that we are feeding the customers as well. And turns out that this, this, uh, storage that i have for my for my scallion farm was completely full and i mean like completely like things were despawning we probably need to get back into uh into fixing this storage system because right right now this is terribly bad i i have to run through a little hole in the wall and i will say though <clears throat> through one of the coolest part of my base if you do ask me this entrance here but, yeah, it's still kind of bad storage system. So I got this place fully restocked and we made 32 diamonds. Or 16 for me and 16 for Mambo. Nice. I don't know how long this, <laughs> this shop has been out of stock. I should probably check in more often. Mambo. He hasn't even collected the last 20 diamonds I put in there. Oh. Someone's given me 10 diamonds. I, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know for what, but, uh, well, I am not going to complain. I'll take it. So we made 26 diamonds in sales today as well. It's been a good day. There was a little bit of an accident here. I, uh, I actually got blown up by a creeper. And, yeah, I guess he actually helped us out a little bit because we do want to remove some of this size essentially as well. Uh, but anyway guys, with that I'm calling the episode for today. Projects like this takes a lot of time and I gotta say it is very nice to see like massive progression happening and I'm, I'm, I'm so very excited for the next step of this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> very eager to see your comments about the fog effect, which one you like the better. Very eager to see who we shall tag because trust me, I, I want to get rid of these tag things as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for today. So I hope you have enjoyed the episode. And if you did, of course, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new, uh, please consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.